Welcome back to Shadow the Hedgehog Maze, Sonic ID Now View, Issue 34, Fall of the Vampire Hedgehog. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. Now let's continue where we left off. At the Floral Forest Village, everyone was cleaning up the robot parts that had been scattered all over the place. Sonic began to wonder about Dr. Eggman's whereabouts. He whispered, he said. What happened to Eggman? Where did he go? Whisper thought about her cracking the doctor's skull with her variable whisper on in cube mode before responding. Well, let's just say that I cracked his egg head open. Sonic knew what she was talking about. Thanks, Whisper, he said. They both shared a fist bump and got back into cleaning up. This marked as an end to the final issue and the entire saga. I was really thankful that Sonic and his friends were rescued from Eggman's vamp pots. It was rather a relief to see the last issue, to read the last issue of the Vampire Hedgehog Saga. As I said before, and as I said before, now I realize why IDW Publishing banned the saga from ever releasing it to the website. Besides the gore and vampires, the main reason was Eggman literally got his skull cracked and possibly died from it. And from here, I thought that the entire saga was dark enough just because of the blood. Now that Eggman got killed, Sonic and his friends wouldn't have to worry about saving the world anymore. Five minutes later, I contacted Brandon via Gmail about the Vampire Hedgehog Saga and my honest opinion on it as a whole. He told me that Alexander McFarlane wanted to kill Dr. Eggman just so Sonic and his friends can bring some justice for the world. He stated that the good thing about it was that they can finally take a lifelong vacation. However, the bad thing about it was that this would have marked the end of the entire Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. We could both agree that no one wanted the franchise to end over the main villain being killed off. Luckily, it is going is going to stop anytime soon since the blue hedgehog himself is always on the run. I'm going to look into obtaining my associate's degree of arts after the finals. Then I will be seeking to an online college to obtain a bachelor degree of gaming art. I am looking forward in, to going into a voice acting and computer animation career. I am also looking forward to work for Sega of America in the future to give him a hand in the Sonic video games. And that was Sonic IDW issue 34, Fall of the Vampire Hedgehog, a Sonic IDW Lost Comic Creepypasta, written by Bailey Maloney. What do I think of it? To be perfectly honest, I actually find this story really good. In addition, I actually I think we all find it very, very nice. We all find this series very nice. The paragraph structuring was good. The sentence structuring was good. And when I read that Whisper literally used her whisper to actually crack Dr. Eggman's head open, I was like, whoa my god. Or whoa my chaos. I never expect Whisper to do such a thing like that. <laughs> no wonder IDW Comics banned it for me. Now, overall, I think this story is actually really good. And Bailey Maloney, you're doing a really good job of writing these stories. Michelle and Linus, we want to thank you for reading this the Sonic IDW Lost Comic Creepypasta series, and we hope that you like Sonic IDW issue 34, Fall of the Vampire Hedgehog. Now, what do you all think of this story? Did you all like it or did you not? And did you enjoy the series or did you not? And did you all enjoy the Sonic IDW Lost Comic Creepypasta series or did you not? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Well, I'm about to head on out with Team Dark. 
we have another mission for Jean Wen. But thank you all very much for watching. This is Shadow the Hedgehog signing off. Goodbye.